Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 27th. So November 27th for all signs. But I gotta say it, it's, this is not a private reading. And sometimes these readings, these daily vibes, they resonate a couple days later, so keep that in mind. This may be for you or it may not. This is going to connect with the people that need it the most, okay? So what do we have for Tuesday, November 27th? Tuesday, November 27th. What do we got? What do we need to know? <laughs> wow, what a nice beginning. The Three of Swords. Grief. Grieving. Pain. Sadness. Hurt. Wonderful. So, yeah, there's some, some sort of, uh, I mean, there could be some tears being shed. She's got some tears here, you know? There's some pain. Mm. We have we have a, somebody that doesn't have good intentions, somebody that is withdrawn, isolating themselves, unable to master their emotions. Mm. Yikes. You know, yesterday, or the 26th, there was a man that was making a decision, you know, and the decision, you know, was perhaps, you know, and it was a, it was a tough decision. He's making a decision that it was done. This is the 26th reading. Now, here we have a, a breakup or, a, you know, letting go, you know, letting go of a relationship. There's been too many arguments. There's incompatibility. There's no more... Um, love okay it's like the love is gone you know the love is gone Jeez, and crow a song just popped in and it popped right out the love is gone oh it's that you lost me song you lost me by christina aguilera yeah because you see the love is it's gone it's empty i mean that you can't there's nothing in those cups now they're they're empty the love is gone and mm, that hurts that hurts okay so somebody is feeling the pain because we have a man that has made a practical decision right he's been very practical this is about give and take bringing balance and harmony back to your life or back to his life somebody has made a decision to Bring some balance back, okay? To give something or take something back. It could be either way because whatever is needed to bring balance, whether it's I take this back or I give a little more. I mean, whatever is needed to bring balance. Somebody has made a practical, responsible to decision to be mature and do whatever is needed to bring balance back to their lives and it looks like it's a man you know and the, you know somebody is really hurting over this emptiness ooh the hierophant we could be dealing with a taurus we have taurus here taurus virgo capricorn sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio Yeah, somebody is removing this obstacle. I can't I can't pretend anymore. I can't wear this mask that this is love. Okay? Oh, 
Okay? Somebody is taking off the mask. You know, not going to pretend and stay in this uh, mental turmoil. I can't, I can't, I can't keep pretending. I can't keep pretending. It's reversed. I need to remove this obstacle. I need to clear this obstacle of not being in love. You know, I can't, I can't pretend that I'm in love anymore. Okay, so I feel like we have somebody here that is giving up on a partnership that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. I mean, I can't pretend that this is the, it's not what it is. You know, it's like, you know, this, they, they may have made this decision suddenly. It's been a sudden decision that... It's time for me to go. It's time for me to step outside of this needing to protect myself. It's time for me to stop pretending. It's time for me to um, focus on my future, you know. And I feel like somebody is wanting to go after what they truly deserve, okay. So they are probably deciding to be practical and mature and believe in themselves and patiently wait for the right opportunity to arrive. You know, I'm not going to pretend that I'm in love here. I'm going to close myself off to this whatever it is. I mean, it's, it's not love. I'm not, I'm not going to invest in it anymore. And I am going to bring balance back to my life because I'm just not the same person that I used to be. Somebody has evolved and become more mature with time. And now they have gained some experience or they have received some guidance or their inner guide is telling them that they can't pretend anymore. This is, this is guidance, inner guide. Um, I, I, I can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend that this is love, you know. So somebody has made a poor decision to stay in a relationship because it was comfortable. It was comfortable, but causing a lot of stress. And they've come to the conclusion that I, I, I would rather um, withdraw and wait for the real deal. Then, then escape the truth, escape the reality. Because this is the this is the king of reality, and this would be escaping. I'm not going to escape anymore. I can't escape the reality of what this is, and it's causing causing some hurt for the other person because of the breakup. Because remember, the the man was making the decision. The man has made. Like I said, sometimes this will resonate today. Tomorrow, yesterday, next week, okay? This is the energy I'm picking up on today. Somebody has made a decision, okay? They've made a decision to remove the obstacle of emptiness, of this not being love. I'm, I'm not going to pretend that this in love is love when it's not, okay? So I think that we have somebody here that has really evolved. They have come right into their own. They're really listening to their inner guide. They're really believing in themselves. And, and they, they are dealing with their own pain, um, knowing that they have to be honest. You know, they can't pretend. And it, and it hurts. And, they, and, and the, I think everybody in the whole situation is hurting because there's pain. You know, I think that there's the there's an end of a relationship and everybody involved is, is, is feeling it. It's the very first card. And I think that this is the most practical, um, st stable, uh, responsible decision. And I think whoever this person is that has made this decision 
is is doing the right thing because they're bringing some balance and harmony back to their life you know they they're not escaping the reality it's like i'm i'm not the same person that i used to be and i'm not going to pretend that i am somebody has come to that conclusion and they may be withdrawing and isolating themselves as they feel the pain you know it's like you know i can't i'm i'm just going to go within to to uh refocus and get prepared for the the right ship to arrive you know so i think that we have so we have a we have a breakup here we have a breakup here that really really hurts and somebody is is going through a period of healing they're following their inner guide and getting prepared for what they deserve. Somebody is getting prepared for what they deserve. And in order to get what they deserve, they have to they have to leave the the relationship that is no longer practical. I mean, there's nothing left in those cups. Those cups are empty. It's not love, it's empty. They're empty. That is, and you got to be practical. If there's no love, it, <coughs> it's funny because today I was thinking while well, I was doing the dishes. Hours ago I was doing the dishes and I was thinking something popped into my head. I don't know if a song came on or what, but I was. what came to me was, why would somebody wait and hold on to somebody that doesn't love them. And that's funny that this is coming up. Why would somebody sacrifice themselves for somebody that doesn't reciprocate, for somebody that doesn't love them? Why would they waste their time and their life and their energy and their own happiness for somebody that doesn't love them. That came to my mind. Out of the blue, I was doing the dishes. Why? Why would you wait around? And I, I can see crying over it for a little while. But why would you continue to do that? Because of some fantasy that you've read about? You can't make somebody love you. If they don't love you, they let them go. Don't pretend. Because you deserve. You deserve to be loved. You deserve reciprocation. You don't deserve to deal with somebody who doesn't communicate, who doesn't have good intentions, who doesn't care about how you feel, who do, can't express themselves. You're, there, there's somebody here that will not express love. And if they don't express love, why would you sacrifice yourself? It's time to be practical and feel the pain, deal with the pain, and let go of the relationship that You can't go against what isn't gravity. I mean, there's no way you can put the love back in those cups. And I know that that hurts. But you need to believe in yourself. And you need to have faith and trust that everything happens for a purpose. This is a card of purpose. Faith and trust that everything happens for a purpose. There's another opportunity that is more solid, more stable. And it's what you deserve and you got to wait, you got to you got to get prepared for it. And this situation in which there's a breakup and there's no love got you more prepared. But you need to make that decision to not hold on to the empty situation.
there's a purpose why this didn't work out. You need to believe. You need to have faith and trust that there is a purpose. There's, if, for a woman watching this, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity for something much, much better. But you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to stop hanging on to this person that doesn't have good intentions and is never going to communicate. You need to plant your seeds in a new garden and wait. Wait for the right one. Be patient. It takes time for things to grow. But you, the, in order to grow, you can't bring this lie with you. And we have a man here that knows that. So that's why he's making the decision because it looks like the woman to me, and this is like a woman, it looks like a woman to me, but I see that both people are grieving, but it looks like the woman to me doesn't want to accept the truth that it's over. Yeah, Six of Cups, memories of the past. Memories of the past. Somebody's holding on to the past. Now, sixes are about balance. We have a six here, a six here, and this is a card of balance as well. This could also be, well, let me just, somebody has been trying to manifest somebody from their past, waiting for somebody from their past to come and give them something. Oh, of course, that's what's been happening. Waiting for the past to come back. But that's a dead end situation. It is. You need to let go of that idea. This is an idea. You need to let go of that thought that the past is coming back. Somebody's been trying to manifest a new opportunity with somebody from their past. And it's unrealistic. It's a lie. And somebody needs to let go of this karmic, toxic lie. The devil brings lies. And I think that we have a man here that, and I think it's the man. It could be the woman, but I think it's the man. I think it's the man that is deciding to end it. It was based on a lie. 
And now we have this, maybe it was based on sex or it was based on codependency or it was based on ego. And now this man is getting practical. Looks like he's going to face his demons. He's going to face his ego. He's going to face his pride. He's going to face this devil. Because he's evol evolved. And he's ready to come out of this darkness. He's ready for the right opportunity. And he's sick of being unhappy and discontent. So we have a split. And it hurts. We have the death We have the death of something, the death of an idea, the death of a dead end situation. Because somebody is ready for a new beginning. It's a time of transition. It's a time of release, which brings about a new beginning. So something is ending. Man is taking action. He's facing his fears. He's facing his demons. He's evolved. He's believing in himself. He's listening to his inner guide. And the other person is feeling the pain. They're both feeling the pain. But it brings about some pain. We have a brand new beginning here. But to get to this new beginning, there's going to be some grieving involved. So it looks as though today is a day where somebody has made a decision to stop pretending. and face their fears about codependency we have somebody that's taking action we do with the magician card somebody is taking action to wake up somebody has been through some got had some sort of awakening and they're taking action to bring what they deserve into their life. It's a gamble, yes. But they're going to get what they deserve by taking action. They're going to get the happiness when they let go of the dead end situation that they have been staying in. So yeah, I mean, that's what this is. There's, a, there's, a, there's an ending here that brings about a new beginning. And that's all there is to it. Somebody is probably going to... Make a decision to come out of this darkness and stop pretending. I mean, that's all I can see is stop pretending. Somebody has given up. It's like, this is not love, and I'm not going to pretend it is. The end. It's over. And that hurts. That's what I see. But it does bring about getting what you deserve. Because there's a new beginning. In the end, you're going to get what you deserve. Because this action is taken. This, you're going to get that golden opportunity. But you're going to have to take a risk. And you're going to have to face it. Even if it hurts. So yeah, let me get, I got this new deck here. I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to have to read it from the book. Let's see what comes up for the 27th. I mean, yeah, we have the death of something. Something is over. It's done. And it looks like the man made the decision. Maybe the woman did. Could be, could be either one. But I'm 
I mean, that two of cups reverse is, is a it's a breakup. It is. It's like there's no more love left. There ain't, you can't fill those cups back up. It's over. You can't fight gravity. You can't you can't fight it if it's not meant to be. I mean, if you, you can't, it's done. It's over, and you can't pretend, and you can't pretend. And it looks like, I mean, no more pretending here. And I want happiness. We have a man that's deciding he wants happy. He wants true love. He wants true love, and I can't pretend that this is. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Yeah, there's going to be some communication. I gotta find it. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle. Interesting. For communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you. If the issue you are asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming, which there is a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. Absolutely. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. And there's going to be some communication. There is. Could be with somebody from your past that you've been waiting to come back. Could be with somebody you're with now and there's all these memories that you have together. And it's really hard to let go. But I do see that somebody is letting go. And that hurts. But it's going to bring a miraculous new beginning. Trust me. A major transformation. Don't fight it. Good luck.